Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your WordPress website using Bluehost.com. Now this is part one of the video where I actually go to Bluehost and purchase a domain and purchase the hosting so you can see the whole process start to finish. So if you're unsure of how to do that, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. In part two of the video, I'm going to show you how to set up your WordPress to make a very beautiful but simple photography site. So to get started buying your WordPress hosting, I recommend you go to Bluehost.com. So up here in the URL, I'm just going to type in www.bluehost.com. And now we want to do a WordPress hosting. So I'm going to go to host WordPress hosting and I'm going to scroll down here and you can see the options that you have. You have uh, WordPress standard, WordPress enhanced, premium and ultimate. A lot of photographers can probably get away with doing the WordPress standard. Uh, you can see the kind of storage you get. You get 30 gigabytes of storage. You get online backup for 30 gigabytes, uh, RAM two gigabytes, money back guarantee on that support. And it also includes one, uh, one domain uh, with the monthly cost. So I'm going to go ahead and click select here. And now I'm going to type in the domain that I want to purchase. So in this instance, I'm going to type in photography site 101. And I can choose .com, .org, uh, .anything. And I'm just going to keep it .com. Now I'm going to click next. All right, and here's where I'm going to enter all of my information, my personal information. Uh, and also I can click the package that I want. But let me go ahead and enter the information first. Okay, now that I've entered my information, now I can select my plan that I actually want to use. So when you click this drop down box, you have a lot of different options. Uh, you can use uh, the WordPress standard hosting for one month, uh, 24 months, 36 months. It automatically defaults to 36, which is three years, but you can actually uh, go down a little bit less if you are not sure if you want to keep it or not. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just do the standard hosting one month price. So I'm going to click there. Now you can see your total at the bottom. Uh, you can choose to have a, uh, a search engine jumpstart, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can protect your domain information for 99 cents per month. Uh, setup fee is free, and that's a really good thing. Primary domain registration is also free. And so you can see my total cost right now is going to be for one month is going to be $43. And it also, uh, it also decreases the more you purchase it. So that's one thing to think about. If you're going to have it for a short term, you're going to end up paying a lot more than if you just got it for a longer term. So now I'm going to enter my card information so I can uh, go ahead and purchase the domain here. So now that I've entered my card information, I'm just going to read these terms of service here for Bluehost. I'm going to click agree and I'm going to click submit. So now you're going to get a congratulations page saying that you've uh, submitted everything correctly, but now you have to enter a password for your account. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password real quick. And after I enter my password, I'm going to uh, agree to these terms here. I'm going to click next. And just a small dialog box that's saying we're creating your account. It'll take a few minutes to get ready. All right, so everything is successful. Now I can log into my Bluehost account. So now you're basically on the back end of your Bluehost account. Now this is where you can install WordPress. It's got a one-click WordPress install, which is really great because you used to have to download all the files from WordPress, upload them via FTP to your domain host, and then uh, you can install it that way. But uh, Bluehost actually offers a one-click one install. Uh, so I'm just going to click Install WordPress here. So now you just need to fill in the information below. Pretty simple stuff. You just need to put in your admin password and username, email, uh, and the title of your blog. So I'm going to pop that in right now. So now that you've successfully installed WordPress, now to go to your actual site on the back end of WordPress where you make all the adjustments, all the themes that you can install and everything like that, all you got to do is go to your website name. So in this case, mine is www.photographysite101.com. And then I'm going to do slash WP dash admin. And when I click there, I get a, uh, a WordPress install box. And this is where you type in your information to log in. This is the information that you set up. So after you've logged in, you're greeted with a very nice uh, welcome screen that asks you a couple questions here. And this one is, what kind of site can I help you set up? And you're going to choose business or personal. I'm actually going to choose business. And here's where you can do your site title and your site description. So in this case, I'm going to do uh, Photography Site 101. And for my site description, I'm just going to type in Photography Portfolio and click uh, Next Step. And now it's going to say we're going to update your site with news and blog posts. So click Yes. Uh, you can kind of choose a, uh, a, a way the homepage will look. Uh, I'm just going to click this one right here. 
Uh, and then I'm going to choose uh, for a starter contact us. I'm going to click no thanks because all of this stuff eventually we're going to change anyway. And so it's going to ask you, do you want to connect to WordPress.com? You don't really need to do that. You can actually do that a little bit later if you want, wanted to. What it does is allow you to install a really cool plugin called Jetpack. And it'll uh, give you a whole lot of cool things that you can do to, uh, like it says there, improve security, track your stats. Uh, but I'm going to click not now for this time. And now you're going to enter the, uh, the address for your place if you have one, if you have a business address. I'm going to click uh, not now here, but this is where you would do it. And here's where you can install WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a very cool plugin, which allows you to sell stuff directly from your site. Everything is put in a really nice looking format, uh, but you can install that there. If this is just going to be a portfolio, um, you can not worry about this right now, but later on, you can always install WooCommerce. Uh, so again, I'm going to click not now here. So this is part one. This is everything we've done to set up our actual WordPress site. So in part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your site uh, and install some cool uh, photography themes and customize it to make a really neat and simple portfolio website. So guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com. I'll see you in part two.